During this holy mass, we pray for the following intentions. Souls of Augustine Mampili, Stanley Teresa de Souza, Jacinta Beltazer, Katrina Matthew, Thomas Xavier, Kavalakal Matthew Andrews, Kavalakal Andrews, Devasiya Cherukarakunal, Jose Ray Pimental Pines Senior, Ullatupurath Joseph Michael, Joycey Michael, Mariama Matthew, Lawrence, Dennis De Souza, Devasiya Joy, Uiva Antonieta Andred, Estepan Planaikuram Barambil, Kalukuran Rappai Anthony, Varke Kapil Putuseril, Rosa Kapil Putuseril, All souls of Anusha's family, all souls of Anu Anujan's family, Jerin Samuel, Ranish Christopher Aniona, Anthony Miranda, Pulos, Vargis Walapalli, Anthony Antoniar, Stellus Stephen, all souls in purgatory. Thanksgiving by Jenny Evelyn Evald de Souza, Divya Pius, Doris Maria Jose, Doma Samson, Anusha Joanna Sebastian, and Anujan Julian Sebastian, Zelia Sharaval Rocky, and Sherin Frida Fernandez, George and family, Teresa, Franco and family, Fiona Varela, Jessica De Silva. Special intention, Alicia Ann, Sebian family, Abhishek, Greg Alcantara, Rashmin Martin, Surya, Gabin Ro Joseph, Vijoy Davis, Joseph Anthony, Emeril De Cruz, and Emmanuel De Cruz, Nurses Ministry. Good evening, brothers and sisters. Good evening, Father. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen your spirit we are in the holy week preparing ourselves to take part in the paschal mysteries the gospel of the day reminds us Jesus was trying to explain he was trying to convince the disciples that the cup of salvation that he is going to drink even then Peter Judas Cariot these two disciples who were holding the prominent position among the twelve disciples they could not understand 
Jesus was trying to convince then you will betray me the disciples they could not understand what Jesus really meant even he said to the Peter that you will despise me even then no one could understand what their master was telling dear friends throughout this Lenten season we were given the opportunity to prepare ourselves to renew ourselves and we are reaching to the climax it is up to us the gospel of the day Jesus he asked us the disciples failed how do we understand and accept Jesus and trying to live the way that he wants us to live in order to partake in this Holy Eucharist in a most worthy way let us call to our minds all the sins and shortcomings and ask God's pardon and mercy and forgiveness I confess to Almighty, to Almighty God and to you my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fault through my fault through my most grievous fault therefore I ask blessed Mary a virgin all the angels and saints and to you my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the Lord our God may Almighty God have mercy on us forgives our sins and bring us to everlasting life Amen Lord have mercy Lord have mercy Christ have mercy Christ have mercy Lord have mercy Lord have mercy let us pray Almighty ever living God grant us to celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's passion that we may merit to receive your pardon through our Lord Jesus Christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever Amen reading from the prophet Isaiah islands listen to me pay attention remotest peoples the Lord called me before I was born from my mother's womb he pronounced my name he made my mouth a sharp sword and hid me in the shadow of his hand he made me into a sharpened arrow he concealed me in his quiver he said to me you are my servant Israel in whom I shall be glorified while I was thinking I was toiled in vain I have exhausted myself for nothing and all the while my cause was with the world my reward with my God I was honored in the eyes of the Lord my God was my strength and now the Lord has spoken he who formed me in the womb to be his servant to bring Jacob back to him to gather Israel to him it is not enough for you to be my servant to restore the tribes of Jacob and bring back the survivors of Israel I will make you the light of the nations so that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth 
the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response to the psalm is, My lips will tell, you, tell of your help. My lips will tell of your help. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me, free me, pay heed to me, and save me. My lips will tell of your help. Be a rock where I can take refuge, and mighty stronghold to save me. For you are my rock, my stronghold. Free me from the hand of the wicked. My lips will tell of your help. It is you, O Lord, who are my hope, my trust, O Lord, since my youth. On you I have leaned from my birth. From my mother's womb you have been my help. My lips will tell of your help. My lips will tell of your justice and day by day of your help. O oh God, you have taught me from my youth, and proclaim your wonders still. My lips will tell of your help. Glory and praise to you, O oh Christ. Hail to you, our King. Obedient to the Father, you were led to your crucifixion. Ask a meek lamb is led to the law of slaughter. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. While at supper with his disciples, Jesus was troubled in spirit and declared, I tell you solemnly, one of you will betray me. The disciples looked at one another, wondering what, she, what which he meant. The disciple, Jesus loved, was reclining next to Jesus. Simon Peter signed to him and said, Ask who it is he means. So leaning back on Jesus' breast, he said, Who is it, Lord? It is the one, replied Jesus, to whom I give the piece of bread that I shall dip in the dish. He dipped the piece of bread and gave it to Judas, son of Simon Scariot. At that instant, after Judas had taken the bread, Satan entered him. Jesus then said, What you are going to do, do quickly. None of the others at table understood the reason he said this. Since Jesus, Judas had charge of the common fund, some of them thought Jesus was telling him, buy what we need for the festival, or telling him to give something to the poor. As soon as Judas had taken the piece of bread, he went out. Night had fallen. When he had gone, Jesus said, now has the Son of Man been glorified, and in Him God has been glorified. If God has been glorified in Him, God will in turn glorify Him in Himself, and will glorify Him very soon. My little children, I shall not be with you much longer. You will look for me, and as I told the Jews, where I am going, you cannot come. Simon Peter said, Lord, where are you going? Jesus replied, where I am going, you cannot follow me now. You will follow me later. Peter said to him, why can't I follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. Lay down your life for me, answered Jesus. I tell you most solemnly, before the cock crows, you will have disowned me three times. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look favorably, O Lord, we pray, on these offerings of your family and to those you make partakers of these sacred gifts. Grant a share in their fullness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the days of his saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy Holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the founder of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Paul, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be coerced to eternal life 
and may praise and glorify you through your son Jesus Christ Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you say to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual Communion Prayer My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. I have a maker He formed my heart Life was in his hand. He knows my name. He knows my every thought. He sees each tear that falls and hears me well. Oh 
Let us pray. Nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by this same sacrament with which you have fed us in this present age, you may make us partakers of life eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May your mercy, O God, cleanse the people that are subject to you from all seduction of former ways and make them capable of new holiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the Almighty God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit bless you all. Amen. Mass is ended. Go and glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.
Seek and you will find all your calls to be. If anyone would come. 